S-80 managed to limp back to Murmansk in very rough shape. The dockyard workers were astonished that this bucket of bolts made it back home. It seems like I impressed some of the brass as well. I received a new command, B-153, a Foxtrot class diesel electric submarine. Although it leaves a lot to be desired, I was ecstatic to finally be leaving that backwater command. It seems, in times of war, the brass is willing to overlook my love for vodka. On August 2nd, 1994, under the command of Alexei Karamazov, B-153 departed Murmansk for her first war patrol. Hello everybody, Wolfpack here, and welcome aboard B-153, a Foxtrot-class diesel-electric submarine. And you know, I figured with a new sub, we might as well go right into a trial by fire. So I intercepted some NATO subs off the Norwegian coast, and we're going to see how we do. The Foxtrot is a significant improvement from our Whiskey-class diesel-electric submarine, and you can just tell that from the armament here. We are loaded to the brim with set 65 torpedoes. We also have two decoys in our rear tubes. And here is Sierra 1. Let's try to figure out exactly what she is. And it looks, this is a surface ship. Uh, probably a merchant, I'm guessing. Let's see. Honestly, go to PD. Yeah, it looks like a merchant ship. Let's just go to PD and do a check here. It looks like there's a very strong layer at 63 meters, so we'll dip down below that layer. One additional advantage of the Foxtrot over the Whiskey is our top underwater speed is 16 knots. Okay, we are at PD, raise ESM. And nothing, raise radar, figure out what's going on there. There we go, and Master 1. All right, perfect. Lower all those, nothing else out there. Let's drop below that layer at 63 meters. Down, down, down. 76 meters, please. Let's try to find this guy. Of course, if we can't pick them up soon, we can always draw them out with some active sonar. That's always a surefire way to uh, to piss them off and uh, get, a, get a fight on our hands. Well, we drop below the layer and we find our friend here, Sierra 2. Definitely looks to be a sub signature. And there, yep, Cobbin. All right, diesel electric. I'm gonna, and she is on a head on course with us. I don't like that. Um, let's try to establish how far away she is. Solution's at 63%. Let's use a little bit of time compression here. 72, 75. Looks like, yeah, okay, wow. Um, geez, she is close. Four kilometers out. Operating right below the layer at around 120 meters. Signature. Okay, if she goes active, we are boned. Okay, let's set this up to zigzag, go active. Okay. And you are going to go deep just in case. I'm thinking we're going to pop up above the layer, wait for her to, you know, pass on by. This is her general course. Let's start plotting her. Um, wait for her to go on by, and then we'll shoot once we're in her baffles. I think that could be kind of exciting. Minus three there on passive. So we let's all stop. There we go. That'll help make like a hole in the water. And she's moving relatively quickly. She's going at around eight knots here. Okay. Interesting setup we have. I have two torpedoes ready, twos one and two. That should be fine. Hopefully we can do this with one torpedo. I'd rather not waste more torpedoes than necessary. Okay, she is closing in on us. Let's go ahead and come up, get above that layer. Thankfully, it's a strong layer. I do wonder if we will lose contact. She did slightly change her course here. And is she slowing down? She is slowing down by the looks of things. Passing 60 meters. Okay, level out here. That should be good. Signature. 
minus 10 now. Again, if she goes active, we're boned, but I mean, so is she. We, we know exactly where she is. I'm just really toying with my food at this point and firing from behind would be ideal. Okay, perfect. The Cobbin is rapidly approaching our boat and she is moving fast. She's going at like 16 knots. I guess she has to be somewhere in a hurry. I don't even know why I have my bow tube set up. Let's set up one of our rear tubes. Active right out the gate. Signature two, yikes. That's kind of close. She's moving at 17 knots. How can she hear anything? Okay, well, this could get extremely dangerous extremely quickly for us. Uh, get ready to blow ballast. Because this is, this is nuts. We are just going to stay still. Hopefully she doesn't hear us. I mean, there has to be a ton of flow noise. 17 knots. Just look at that, though. That is too awesome. I love doing stuff like this in cold waters. Oh, my gosh. Wow, okay. Nice and easy. The Cobbin just cut her engines. Right underneath us. She can hear us. Oh boy. 80 on active. Oh man, this is insane. Okay. Full left rudder. Oh man. Okay. Shoot! All ahead flank. Okay, she shot. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Doing a noisemaker. Down, down, down. Here we go. Come here. Come here, torpedoes. Wow, jeez. Just look at that. Just look at that. Oh my gosh. This is... The most badass thing I've ever done in this game. Okay, let's go. She's in our baffles. Right full rudder, right full rudder. Go active. Find her. Um, our torpedo tube six or whatever it is. Shoot. Countermeasures immediately. She fired another. Go down, what's our depth? 190 meters. Keep going. Shitload of torpedoes in the water now. Got her. She's done for. Shoot, noisemaker. Time to go, time to go, time to go. Oh my gosh. Okay, rudder. Okay, keep going down. Hopefully, a lot of those torpedoes home in on her and not so much us. Secure active. What's our depth? We're at 242 meters. Keep going. This torpedo hasn't activated yet. If it gets if it gets too crazy, we can blow ballast. These torpedoes can't pick us up on the surface. There's nothing else out here. Hell yeah! Oh my gosh. That is got it. That is the coolest thing I think I've ever done. That was amazing. I love that. That was too much fun. Okay, rudder amidships. Let's get out of here. Oh my gosh. Uh, use a few more torpedoes than I really planned for, but that's okay. That is okay. Wow. Okay. Let's turn away from this guy. This torpedo is just circling around near the surface. That's kind of suspect. I'm not too interested in that. Okay. Wow.
All right, folks, with that, we are clear to leave the combat area. That was a very exciting first mission for B-153. Um, yeah, I loved every second of that, and I hope you all enjoyed that as well. Anyways, thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please be sure to leave a like and comment. It really does help out the channel. But until next time, this is Wolfpack345 signing off, and I will see you all on the next one.